Hey, hey, crafty friends, it's Diane with Bean Street Paper, and it's time for another 10 Minute Tuesday. I have to admit, I was a little challenged this week. We had a huge festival downtown uh, Saturday and Sunday, and I was just so tired. And I was having a really hard time jump starting my creativity. So I cleaned off my desk a little bit, and I had somebody message me and say that they were just starting out and they loved um, the 10 Minute Tuesdays because they didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on fancy doodads. They either don't, it's not in their budget or they just, you know, didn't want to d invest quite yet. So that got me thinking maybe I should do some super simple, simple cards. Um, I do have some older videos on my channel that show, you know, how you can get started with $50 at Walmart. They're super old. And again, guys, I know my videos aren't edited and I, I it's just not me. <laughs> but it got me also thinking, I make a lot of four packs of cards for my coffee shop. And I always am stuck with these strips of paper in random sizes, um, mostly three inches. So I thought, self, you know, let's do a super simple design so we could start using up some of these random strips of paper. So this is what I came up with. Uh, and there's no stamping. There's no fancy um, tools, tips, tricks, just a paper cutter and some glue. Uh, this is the card. Okay, it's just plain inside. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use, and this time I'm going to use all Barely Art glue instead of my ATG gun, because that is, um, compared to the liquid glue, that is costly, more costly. Um, I started with a paper pad uh, that I got it Tuesday morning. As you can see, I paid $3.99 for it. And I actually didn't use one of my scrap strips, but I will in the future. Um, and I went through and just pulled out a, a paper that I liked and I cut it into a three inch strip. Um, so you're going to need a card base. And I did this one a little differently. I opened at the top portrait instead of landscape. Um, always A2, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I rounded the bottom corners. Just I think it just gives it a classier little look there. Um, I have a strip of, of pattern paper that is three inches by five and a half inches. And then this guy is three and an eighth inches because you know I like my skinny borders by five and a half and then what I did was I just took a cut apart from my paper pad and matted it on uh, the same color cardstock and then added some ribbon. Now I don't normally add a bow um, because it leaves kind of a bump and then you know your post office might charge you more to mail it uh, but this time I did also because I really stink at tying bows, but <laughs> let's put this guy together. I am going to take my Barely Art glue and just, well, first I'm going to unclog it because I let it sit too long. Just run a thin bead of glue. Make sure I get a drop in each corner because I hate when my corners come up. And I'm going to center that right here on my cardstock. Okay. Press that down. Now, it just so happens that I have a super huge block. I have no idea where I even got this from, but I like to just set my glued stuff aside if I can and give it a second. Uh, I'm going to glue together, same thing, the embellishment, just a thin bead of glue. If y'all haven't tried this Barely Art Glitter Glue, I am not endorsed by them in any way, shape, or form, but they are fantastic. Alright, I'm going to just 
let that guy dry under here and go back to my pattern paper and I'm gonna what I want to do is make sure that just where the curve stops that's kind of where I want to put it because you don't want to put it here then you'll have to trim it around the corner um, again I'm gonna use a little bit of glue and center this guy up on my paper now I trimmed mine because I'm hopeless and sometimes if I cut it at five and a half it's just a scooch too short and you can see the base th <laughs> through so I trim mine a little different so I uh, a little bit longer so I have to cut that off no big deal but what I want to show you is let me put that aside I keep these strips of cardstock and what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to use it as a shim for my sentiment because this part right here that hangs off is already two layers lower than uh, right here. See if, if you just try to glue it on there it's going to be like a seesaw. So what I do is I just take this shim and I glue it as close to the side as I can get it. And I already pre-cut these to be the right size. So, okay. And then I'm going to take my glue and just place that on there. Now. We are almost done with this card. Lucky for y'all, I went ahead and already tied this bow because I don't want you guys to have to watch me struggle. Um, but I am going to pull in my hot glue for this. I like to attach my ribbon with hot glue. I feel like it... Um, gives it a little bit more, you know, chance of making it through the mail if I mail it. And I'm just going to place that in the corner of my of my card there. Of my sentiment. I thought Choose Joy was very fitting. It's been a rough year for most people. So, I used a paper pad, some cardstock, and some ribbon. No stamps, no fancy tools. I used my paper cutter. Um, and I think came up with a super pretty card. Now, you can put some rhinestones on here if you really want to dress it up. What I am going to do is take my scissors and trim now my little extra remember I said I cut it a little bit longer than what I needed because I'm hopeless <laughs> hey we all know our strengths and weaknesses and sometimes we've figured out workarounds right guys so tell me what y'all have been working on if you've been working on Christmas have you guys skipped over fall and moved on to Christmas or um, are you still doing fall Halloween what what kind of things are y'all creating let me know in the comments below there you have your 10 minute Tuesday card I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please of course give me a thumbs up Just feel free to subscribe to the channel for more 10 minute Tuesdays and leave me a comment. I love to chat with y'all. I really, really, really enjoy talking cards with y'all. So go forth and be crafty, my friends. Have a great day. Bye for now.